Right, in this video what we're going to do is to do the branch pipe for this, um, this uh, drawing over here. Uh, normally what we do is we'd just project lines out, um, but unfortunately this page doesn't have enough space for that, so I'm going to have to transfer that information down over here. Right, step number one, I'm just going to draw a construction line over here, and I'm going to measure off the circumference on that line. Uh, it says that the branch pipe, if I've done my calculation correctly, has a circumference of 113. A measure of 113, and I place that on the drawing over here, and I can draw a line, construction line coming up over here, and a construction line coming up over there. Right. The next thing that I need to do is to break that line up into 12 equal segments. I'm going to draw a line out at any angle from that intersection over there. I then take my compasses or pair of dividers and I break that up into 12 parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 over there. Once I've got that, I can then take my ruler, I can set it up so that um, so that we get this, let's just get this sorted out, I'm going to link that point over there to that last point, that, that twelfth point over there, just draw a little line there, slide it back to the next point, draw a little line there, slide it back to the next point, draw a little line, and we carry on doing that until we've got our twelve equal segments on the base over there. All right, let's just draw, draw that in. Getting the equal spaces. Very important to get those spaces very, very accurate and perfectly equal. Right, once I've got those 12 equal spaces over there, I can then draw some construction lines coming up over here. There we go. Just construction lines coming up. Okay, and I can label that. Number one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, going back to one. If I wrap this thing around, one and one, and I'd end up with my cylinder again. I can draw in the base over there. And now I'm going to figure out what the curve is going to be by taking measurements from here. So there's the distance of one. I take that and I come over here and I mark off the distance one on that side and distance one on that side. I then come to here and I measure off what the distance two is. There it is from two over there and 12 has the same distance. You see two and 12, three and 11, there's three, and 11. There's 10 and 4. There's 10 and 4. Take the distance 5 and 9. There's 5. There's 9. And here I can wind this back a little bit to 8 and 6. 6 and 8, and let's get 7, and 7, that over there, I now have those little marks and I can link them up with a nice curve going around like that, going in there, going down, going up, going across there, going down, and once I've got that little guideline, I can then draw in my curve nice and dark. Just a nice freehand curve going in there. Whoops. There we 
go. And I can draw in that and that. Once you've finished, you should label it as the main pipe and the branch pipe over there. And then you are finished the drawing.